in one sense, there is no choice or difference for me. The, the imperative of our business erases all other considerations. The future of this enterprise, the safety of my employees, the vitality of the company rests on one thing only, guest experience. We open a new hotel, we have to redouble our efforts to make sure that the people who do come here, whatever they pay, or how many of them there are, leave here with good word of mouth, willing to rush back again and tell their friends. That's it. So, to that extent, big economy, little economy, boom time or bust, nothing changes for us. I do the same thing, the assignment is the same, but the environment, as you point out, is so much different, nothing that I've ever experienced. I, I, my thought at this period, as I say, how to behave has been predetermined. I'm struck by the fact that around me are companies threatened at the moment who are dealing with their cash flow or their revenue as issues of survival. That there are tens of thousands of employees who are destabilized and frightened about being laid off or losing their jobs. That the city wasn't well prepared for this contingency. This part of a, this unpreparedness, part of a, a symptom of a, a contagion that swept the land, that it's always a weekend, there's no Monday morning. Buildings here and in China and elsewhere were started without the money to finish them. A, a notion that I find totally extraordinary. I would never do such a thing. When I was young, when I'm old, <laughs> I've never started a building without having all the money that it took to finish it, plus a reserve. I can't understand how anybody would ever think of doing it any other way. But I've always regarded my capital structure as the backbone of my marketing. If I didn't, the notion that businesses go in cycles is certain. The only thing we don't, as sunrise or sunset, what we don't know is when or how steep the up or how steep the down. But that there will be this is so how not to anticipate such a thing? Is it possible to bounce my staff and my customers around as the economy moves? Of course not. Consistency and trust are the backbone of all franchises of any kind in life, as well as friendship. So I had to face the limitations of my reach at every point in my career. I couldn't buy everything. I couldn't apply for every license. I couldn't compete on every front. I had to do one thing at a time, at least, and keep the promise that I made at the moment before I made a new one. And so I find myself prepared for this with my company, and I take no special credit for this. It's hard to, to puff yourself up for not being stupid. That's not the same thing as being smart. And it's like the valley of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. This is not a happy moment. There's no triumph here. There's just lamentation, a lament that, that Las Vegas is in this position. It should not be in this position.